What is going on guys? Back at it again today with another video. Before I get any further in this video, let me just go ahead and drop a picture of a dragon that was on my back porch last night. Appreciate it. Have a good one. So yeah, today uh, we're going to be going to the beach, going fishing. We're going to be uh, going to a couple stores I got to go to, and uh, that was my mailman. He's really nice, cool guy. But uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing a bunch of things today, so uh, you can't even see me. Let's go ahead and uh, back up a little bit, and uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing a couple things, going fishing, going to the beach, getting the mail from the mailman, going to the thrift store, cooking up some food, doing what we do. See you later. Back at the Tree of Dollars. <laughs> got the tree of dollar hey. yeah as you could tell we're back at dollar tree and uh i found the perfect perfect beer koozie who cut one who did it who cut one just got back from the store ready for the beach well there's been a change of plans and instead of going to the beach we're going to go to the pier uh, Palafox, uh, Plaza de Luna, the one I got skunked on in the basket here. So I'm going to get a little redemption today. Maybe, uh, I'll catch something, maybe some whiting, maybe some, something good to eat. So, uh, I'll see you at the pier. Well, I changed plans because the beach, the riptide, and the surf were super strong today, and I didn't want to take the kids out there, and there's a chance to shower. So, took them to the splash park over here. I'm going to head on over here to the pier, and, uh, get All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I set up a nice little rig here. What I do is I get a about a arm's length of fluoro or mono, either one you want to choose, okay? Fold it in half. Cut it to length, arm's length, fold it in half, all right? Then you're going to fold it in half again. Like that. Put it all together. And that kind of gives you an idea of where you want to start your first spider hitch knot, okay? That half mark right here, you can just drop it and it'll automatically even space it out for you, okay? So what I'll do for the spider hitch knot is go ahead and make a loop like that. You're going to pull it back like this, okay? Give you a little space, okay? Just like that. You're going to pinch it. And this, you're going to do about seven times. One, two, three. Seven, okay. Okay, slide down a little bit. Like that. And then that first loop that you did, you're gonna feed it back through that. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing or not. You're gonna feed it back through that, just like that. Okay, so like get it wet a little bit. Just like that, alright. Now with this loop, you're basically gonna feed this through your hook, okay, and what's good about this is you can change hook sizes, okay, if you want to go to a bigger hook or a smaller hook, you feed it through and you just basically do the polymer type knot, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, on the bottom, I got a little two ounce pyramid sinker, I'm going to do an improved clinch knot, alright, and you go through. This is like a regular fisherman's knot, that's what they call it, improved punch knot or whatever. So you're just gonna feed it through like this, okay? And then seven times, wrap it around. One, two, three, four. Seven times, okay? And then you're gonna take it. After you did it seven times, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna feed it right back through that hole. That that loop, that first loop, just like this, okay, pull the tag in, and then you're going to repeat it back through this loop, just like that, and then you're going to cinch it down, just like that, make sure all these ravels are nice and tight to each other, just like that. 
All right, so putting the hook on is really super easy. You got that loop, you're gonna pinch it down real tight. Don't kink it, okay? You're gonna feed it through like that. And then take that loop, pull it, put it through like this, and then just pull it. You could do it twice. A lot of people do it twice, okay? I'm just gonna do it once, just a demonstration. Just pull it like that. And when you wanna take it off, you can just push it back through and uh, change hook sizes, so. That's that. That's what it looks like right there. Weight. Two shrimp. Let it rip, tater chip. Alright guys, a little update. Something keeps taking my bait. Something small, something's just pecking at it. But uh, just flying through the shrimp. I might switch up hook sizes and uh, see if I can snag something. See what's, see what's down there. Alright guys, after about, I don't know, an hour, I kind of figured out what's taking all my shrimp. And it's these little tiny mullet. Little bastards. Anyways, I probably should put them on a hook and throw them out there, but I'm not going to because I'm tired. I'm just going to throw them back, and I'm going uh, to see you guys later. I'm wrong. It's a croaker. I don't know if you can hear that. Little tiny croakers. That's what's taking it. All right, guys, second species of the day. Not sure what he is. If you know what he is, let me know in the comments down below. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna get him back. All right, guys, here's another one. I don't know what species this is. Oh, you just got a close-up. <laughs> Fish slime. Oh, no. oh. Bad fish handling on my part, I apologize. This little guy right here. Whatever this is, he's blue and like gold looking. Get him back in the drink. Alright guys, last one of the day. Same species. You guys know what it is. Comment down below. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits because I am going to the beach tomorrow. I don't want to use all my uh, bait for these little, well, bait. <laughs> you know what I mean?
Woo! Alrighty, guys. I know I said that was the last cast earlier, but I caught about 20 more of them little things. And uh, I kept a couple of them just because uh, once I'm out for bait tomorrow on the beach. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good day. I didn't get skunked. Caught a lot of little. Woo! Got a lot of little fish, uh, a couple of croakers, whatever that other species was. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, really appreciate you guys watching this video, and I'm gonna catch you guys back at the house. Hey guys, we're back at the house. I want to apologize for my fish handling skills. I want to apologize for not having my GoPro, and I want to apologize for when I was tying the knots. Uh, my hands were over here off the camera when they should have been like right here, showing you what to do, but. Yeah, I was rookie mistakes. I'm a rookie angler, I guess, and uh, I am the true Guggen, if you know what Guggen is. But uh, yeah, like I always say, uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support. If you have not yet, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're always updated, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.